Another thing that can be useful when you're working on scores in Cubase is the transpose track, and it works in a similar way to the tempo track, although not exactly the same. If I go up to my project here, and this time I add a transpose track, you can see that it's kind of simpler than the tempo track was. And the way it works, essentially, is that what you do is you draw in some blocks of data for where you want the transpose events to occur. And you use the pen tool to create markers between them. Like this. And then what happens is, if you basically go to this box here in the bottom left-hand corner of any one of these transpose events, you can enter a transpose value. So if I wanted that to go up by three semitones, I would put in the number three. And you can see this small block appears here. And I also get a little readout in my info line at the top. And I can manually change this value here as well. So let's say set it to five semitones. And what you'll see is that the part is automatically transposed for the duration of this block here by five semitones, up by five semitones. So that's just a really quick way of changing everything that's underneath that transpose track. So obviously you could go into a MIDI part and you could select the notes you wanted and then you could go MIDI transpose and you could transpose the MIDI that way, but that would only affect that MIDI clip. When you use a transpose track, it affects everything in the project that goes underneath that. 